<laughs> Every time the wind kicks up, the complaints coming in. And more tonight on that blowing sand problem out on Pottery Island and what the city is doing to stop it. Good evening, thanks for joining us. Folks who live and work out on the island have been dealing with that swirling sand for about two years now. And it's been a year since the city took legal action over that issue. The sand is coming from property on Park Road 22 across from Schlitterbahn. Chris 6 News reporter Nikila Pradier is in the studio now with an update. Stephanie, the windblown sand is from the Lake Padre development. The city and the developer have been to court and agreed on certain conditions to settle this matter. Now the developer is on the hook to make improvements soon or face a hefty fine. For more than two years on windy days, drivers on Park Road 22 have to deal with this sandstorm. Whether it's air conditioners, respiratory, uh, I've had a lot of the constituents out on the island call me very concerned about the sand blowing and what can be done to stop it. City Councilman Greg Smith, who represents the island, says that's why the city started issuing citations for code violations to Paul Schneckschneider. He owns that land and plans to transform it as part of the Lake Padre development. And it was wetlands on there, so it was basically grass and water, and now they went and they raised the elevation and did not stabilize the sand. That's the problem. According to this city memo from April 27th, the city and Schneckschneider went to court to try to settle. The result was an order that gives him until July 20th to stabilize that site or pay a $20,000 fine. But the memo also says Schneckschneider failed to meet other deadlines from the court order and concludes that he's, quote, not currently in full compliance. In the meantime... Every time the wind kicks up, the complaint's coming in. Smith hopes that July 20th brings winds of change and it will be the end of a longtime nuisance. I hope that the developer can stop the sand. It, it has been two years now, and uh, a lot of damage has been caused by that sand blowing. By the way, the state is also enforcing violations against the Lake Padre development because of that blowing sand. The TCEQ tells us so far no settlement has been reached. Lee? All right, thank you very much, Nikila.